Shalawan. Let's start out by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, for, to you brothers to the four corners of the earth, teaching his word and truth and sincerity. All right, I'm just going to debunk the Darwin evolution theory, all right, with a few scriptures, okay, because that evolution theory is just complete madness, okay, saying that mankind, all right, uh, evolved from primates or monkeys is, is just insane, okay, saying that different animals evolved from each other, the for. Uh, to be a new species It's just madness Because we know according to the Bible Alright That the Heavenly Father Had his son and the angels Create everything In a perfect order Okay Land creatures after their own kind Water creatures after their own kind Fowls in the air after their own kind Man after his own kind Okay Now Uh as evolution teaches you let's just, just take a look you see here how to say what you first you 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 started as a primate okay the other ones usually they had them on all on all fours and then over a period of time they rose up you know and uh, long before they became into man all right which is just 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 complete is it's, it's Science falsely called, all right. Then you have here, you have like the, the dinosaur, okay, and a, and a land creature, right? That it would have evolved into a water creature, and vice versa. They also tell you the same thing. They tell you if, if, if a land creature gone to the waters, that it will eventually evolve into a water creature, right? As, as you can see, and they would tell you. The water creature, if they go on land over a period of time, will eventually evolve into a land creature, which this is just complete madness. All right. Now, let's just get straight to the point. So the Bible is just going to debunk and crush this garbage. All right. So Genesis verse uh, one, verse nineteen, and it says, "In the evening and the morning were the fourth day." And the powers, I'll read a Barbados, but who have the ear, let them hear. Okay. So it says, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly a moving creature that have life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good Right So right there is telling you That the Heavenly Father Had the whales Or the water creatures created after their kind and Then he had the winged fowl The ones that you know Fly in the air after their own kind Okay so that, that debunks that madness Right there Okay Because there, there is no water creature that's going to evolve into a land creature that will eventually evolve, evolve into a a, a, a a flying creature. Okay. And once again, like I said before, the Heavenly Father had His Son and the angels create everything perfectly. All right. Continuing on, verse 22 it says. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let and let fowl multiply in the earth. In the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And the most and God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And and God made the beasts of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and, the, and God saw it was good okay so uh, just to give you an example all right uh, a deer was made after his own kind a buffalo was made after his his own kind okay a rabbit a turkey alligator all right the birds you know 
so on and so forth. Everything was created after its own manner and after its own kind. Okay, nothing evolved into anything. Okay, everything that you see out here, the heavens and the earth, the animals, everything. Okay, was, is, is, was created from the heavenly Father as He had His Son and the angels created. Okay, the powers. All right. Verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creepeth thing that creepeth upon the earth. All right. So that's telling you now man was created. Okay. In the fifth day. He who have ears to hear, let them hear. All right. Now the creeping thing that creep upon the earth would be uh, like spiders, worms, okay, things like that. They will be considered the creeping things, okay. So everything, like I said before, was created after its own sort, okay. It's just that this 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 science so falsely called the evolution the darwin theory is just complete madness because at the end of the day the so-called white man really has no understanding okay they have no understanding of the bible first and foremost okay and they really have no understanding of, of the purpose of how life actually is okay First Corinthians 15 verse 29 um, no nope. verse 39 so that verse 38 it says but the most high giveth it a body and it hath pleased him and every seed his own body all flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. So back to what I, the original statement, just as, as Genesis 1 and 20, when you read down, everything was created after its own flesh. So that's the bunk in the Darwin theory of saying everything was coming after evolution, okay? That a, a a land creature that can go into the water and, and after a period of time evolve into a water creature and vice versa. No, everything was created after its own sort. Let's read that again. First Corinthians 15 and 39. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds, okay? So there you have it, all right? That debunks the evolution madness, okay? That, that, that Darwin theory is just complete garbage. Hey, and even a lot of, uh, you know, scientists and scholars know this to this day, but they're still teaching the kids in the schools the Darwin theory, evolution, okay? Because I just talked to my niece and my nephew about, uh, say, a month ago, and this conversation came up, and I had to revert back into what? The scriptures to prove them that what? The Heavenly Father had everything created after its own kind and its own sort, okay? Hey, so, uh, you know, I, I don't, I just, that's just what I wanted to, uh, you know, go in real quick. So hopefully someone out there was edified, you know, this is, you know, nothing but a, a you know, a deep topic, deep, this is not a deep topic, but it, it's just something that still has to be pushed out here because people still believe in this madness. Okay. All right, but I'm just, I'm, I'm showing you through the scriptures. That what? That everything that was created 
was from the Heavenly Father. All right. Everything he had, he ordained everything to be created after its own sort. And evolution is garbage. All right, but uh, yeah, just basically want to just go into uh debunk this 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 garbage that Darwin came up with that is still being pushed out on the forefront in these school systems today. But we know according to the Bible. Uh, this is just straight this is just garbage okay and everything that's contrary to the Bible that cannot be backed up by the Bible is garbage okay